What's going on everybody? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. So in this video, we're gonna test out this ASRock Radeon 6600 XT and see how the hash rate compares to its brother down here, the Radeon Sapphire Pulse that we previously just did a video on. So we're basically gonna just put the same clocks that we got steady on this Pulse onto this card and see how it handles it. If it doesn't, then we'll tweak it a little bit, but um, at least I can give you guys a hash rate video so you guys can use this on your own card. So without further ado, let me throw this in here and I'll be back in a second. All right, the pulse is out. Let's put her up on the desk for now. And there's the uh, good old ASRock. Let's turn this thing on. See what happens inside the system. All right, so I just fired it up at the same clocks, as you can see. I have absolutely no idea why the fans aren't spinning. Look at this, 31.82 and the fans on zero. So I'm gonna go and change that right now because clearly default is supposed to be blank as far as I know. All right, so fun fact, you can't leave the fan section blank on the ASRock Radeon 6600 apparently because literally if I left it blank, it said zero. All right, so here we are in the PC. As you can see, I actually ended up changing the clocks that we had in here. We previously had the core at 1200, which it's at now. Then we had the core voltage at 680 we actually ended up bumping that up to 700 the memory controller voltage which is the next 700 you see we had that at 720 and we knocked it down 20 and then the memory clock we actually bumped up to 1155 from 1120 like it was on the sapphire pulse and this is actually doing a lot better it's 32.78 the sapphire pulse is only getting 31.18 ish so success in my book which is nice for ethereum so that's cool um what we're going to do now is let's switch over to etc i'm going to leave the clocks exactly the same i'm assuming it's going to be right around the same with etc but i guess you know only time will tell so let's check that out real quick all right here we have it etc 32.86 so in comparison we had the same exact clocks like i said it was 1200 680 720 and 1120 on the sapphire pulse this one we have 1200 700 700 and 1150 just like we had on ethereum as you guys just saw and it's running much better the sapphire pulse is actually getting 31.95 this is getting 32.90 so win in my book as well let's get over to uh ergo we're gonna try it with the same clocks. I might have to mess with the uh, core voltage and stuff, but let's just see. We'll, we'll try to keep everything the same. All right, so right here, we have the same clocks. Again, 1200, 700, 700, and 1155. What I'm gonna do here is mess with the memory controller voltage and the core clock. So I'm gonna change the core to 1500 because that's what we had in the Sapphire Pulse. And I'm gonna change the memory controller voltage to 850, because that's also what we had on the Sapphire Pulse. We will apply those changes. This is what we found best on Ergo. We actually bumped up the core to 1500, just like we have in the Sapphire Pulse. 700 on the core voltage, 850 on the memory voltage, and then 1155 on the memory clock. Honestly, it's killing it. It's doing 64.37. We had 62.47 on the Sapphire Pulse. Again, another win in my book. Let's get over to Ravencoin and see what we can pull on that. Just before the miner starts, we're gonna change the core to 1600. Core voltage can stay at seven. We will put the memory controller voltage on 900 like we had before. And we'll leave the memory clock right where it's at just for the time being. 
Well, let's see what happens. So, range, what we want to be is right around 17 or a little bit more than 17. We got 17.09 on the Sapphire Pulse. So let's see how this one compares. Look at that. So, same clocks minus the memory. We had 11.25 previously on the Sapphire Pulse. This is at 11.55 for the memory, but we have 17.22 on Raven, which is uh, better than the Sapphire Pulse. We had 17.09, so the memory could be a small factor, but to be honest, don't really think so. It's not a memory uh, dependent algorithm. It's a core dependent. So, I mean, again, every card's different. <laughs> the hash rate's actually getting a little better. It's at 17.52. I just wanted to make this quick video, give you guys a quick overclock template for your ASRock 6600 XTs. If you guys find any better clocks personally, please leave it in the comments below. And as always, I will leave this entire list of overclocks down in the description below for you guys to mimic and get a good starting point for your cards. But you got to remember, all cards are different. You may need to tweak up or down a little bit on each one of these uh, clocks, but at least this will give you a good starting point. As always, guys, I appreciate you all for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.